the demand for functional food with multiple health benefits has increased with increasing public health awareness worldwide. Shea is an exo uh, exotic plant in Kenya where the effects of new growing environments and agronomical treatments on seed quality is being exploited. It has a promising future for food security, improved nutrition and health. Ibrahim Karanje has more details of this from Nyeri. Well, we are at the Dedan Kimathi University, actually at a demo farm where the chia uh, plant or the chia crop uh, has been planted. This is a demo farm li just like I have mentioned and it is in a bid to ensure that the community and especially farmers from Erie County and across the country embrace this type of farming and actually eat chia products. Remember they say actually chia product is, uh, products are touted to have or to be rich in protein. We'll have a uh, dactari here to tell us more about it. But this is also as part of a conference that is ongoing here at the Dedan Kimathi University of Technology, a, partner, a conference that seeks to have farmers from Nyeri County start embracing the actually growing this type of crops. We want to understand the benefits, we want to understand how much it has been embraced, and we also want to understand the, uh, the types of end products that we can be having. But I'm currently on my uh, hands, I'm having chia products. I'm told uh, that I, I can actually eat them from how they are, they are just from uh, adding the, adding them to boiled water, right, Dr. Ari, that I can consume and it will be very much beneficial to me. Let's get to understand the benefits. Uh, thank you so much. You are talking to us on KTN News. Uh, you are having a conference today uh, that seeks to sort of promote uh, and actually have people embrace growing chia plant. Perhaps you may tell us why that is so. Okay, thank you. I'm Dr. Monica Boro. I'm a food scientist. Today we have a workshop with farmers, especially from Nyeri County, who are chia stakeholder farmers, and we are promoting this crop. It's called chia or salvia hispanica. It's a, what we rate as superfood. It's best rated superfood in the world. It is high in proteins and fat. And when you talk about fat, it's oil that is good for your heart, what you call unsaturated fats. So, this type of seed is one of the best in the world which you consume as raw. You just reconstitute it in water and you take it as a beverage instead of taking a lot of tea as Kenyans do. I'm not saying that you don't take tea, but you also diversify what you have to boost our immunity. Why we call it superfood? It's because it's good for our nutrition as well as your health. And here at Dedan Kemadi, we have been doing research with this crop where we have set up demo farm, purposely for training farmers and also creating a seed bank because we want to recruit farmers farmers in this region to be chia farmers. On top of it, we have done a lot of product developments, supplementing locally available products, like we have chia yogurt as dead and kemadi that we sell inside here in our dikutes. We have also done baked products, juices and all that. And today we'll be looking at all that with farmers and enhancing farming of this crop and value addition so that we reach the market. Uh -huh. The market, we can say it is there locally and also international, but we want to concentrate on what is local to diversify our food and nutrition status. Uh, so, uh, perhaps you may want to tell us some of the health benefits. Uh -huh. And also from this conference, there is that intention that you've told me that you are intending to donate seedlings to ensure that farmers from this region actually embrace chia uh, farming. Perhaps tell us the health benefits and uh, shed, shed some light on how you want to bring in farmers. Okay, it is documented that chia helps those who have lifestyle diseases like diabetes and arthritis. We take that seriously and we're also doing research on the same. We have been analyzing it and quite sure it is high in proteins and fats, especially what we have here in Kenya. We have a project that is running for three years and the beneficiaries of this project are smallholder farmers in Nyeri. We'll start with recruiting 1,200 farmers whom will give 2 kgs of chia seed to start with. We target after that we will expand to the whole of Nyeri County and also the whole of Kenya. So as we create our seed bank we have engaged farmers, we train them here and we, we also train them on product development so that they can also start cottage industries at the farm level. Uh, what, what, what acreage of land can 2 kg of seeds uh, sort of serve? One acre takes 5 kgs so 2 kgs will go like for a quarter and we target that they do like an eighth and the rest they consume. They also, we also promote consumption, but with time they'll expand to the area that they decide. Now, my final question to you would be after the farmers have grown chia and uh, say, I know the first, the first uh, intention is to have them consume or consumed mm -hmm. in the societies, but mm -hmm. is there a plan by the Dedan Kimathi University to sort of buy again from them to make the end product, say the yogurt and such? 
Okay, what we have done, we have partnered with the county government, the Directorate of Agriculture. We'll be working with the extension officers, and we aim at forming school-based centers at the farm level where they can start cottage industry. Farmers come together as a group, they develop a product, they brand it as their own, and they go to the market. That is our target. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you have heard it about the chia plant. I don't know whether we have yet another expert uh, that we can speak to on this particular issue. Just to shed some more light, uh, here at the Dedan Kimath University, sir, thank you so much for joining us. Kindly tell me your name and titles, and then tell us perhaps what opportunities you are seeing in the growth of chia plants, especially in, in our country right now. It has not been very much embraced, but what opportunities are there? Uh, my name is Dr. Geshero, a soil scientist. I'm the director of Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research, EMBU. <clears throat> we are collaborating with Kimath University to develop seeds for this, uh, for the, for chia, because uh, Kimadi, their strength is to do nutrition, and thus we want to do the agronomy of this crop, <clears throat> because we want to see uh, which seeds, we come up with the seeds where, which can be grown where, so that when we tell the farmers we have a new crop, when they come to us, they are not having challenges of where to get the seeds for which area. So we are coming up with breed. We are breeding the seeds so that we can be able to get... We have seven agroecological zones in Kenya. Uh -huh. The ones we are, I mean, high, in high potential areas, like four agroecological zones. Uh -huh. So which are uh, tea zone, the scovy zone, coffee, uh, cotton zone, and the drier area where we have millet, sorghum zone. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so it is, we are coming up... This is almost like sorghum media three uh -huh. But in the higher in the high highlands we are also getting seeds which can grow there. So that farmers who are having a very small hectare uh -huh. and we are encouraging like uh, my colleague has said uh, we want farmers to use it as a crop. Uh -huh. Not in a salary for marketing purposes. Because in this country you know very well nutrition has been an issue. Because malnutrition for uh, uh, many people in our population is like 40 percent we are having problems with nutrition. So if we can be able now to get this crop and we eat it together with other crops, we can, I mean with other seed, cereals, we can be able to boost our nutrition. We are also doing soil analysis for the, uh, in this country we are having a lot of problems with zinc and iron. This, this crop can be able to pick even in the poor soils, it can be able to pick zinc and iron. And that is very important. So that where we cannot be able to get nutrients, this one, cassava and sweet potatoes, they can be able to get those nutrients and they are very important. You, you've actually gone to uh, what would have been my uh, next question in terms of soil analysis and asking, much as you're uh, based in Embu, looking at uh, the kind of situation in Yeri, given that also Odin Kimath University will be partnering with farmers in Yeri, is the soil in this particular region uh, efficient or, or sort of what this type of crop needs? Yeah, let me first say that uh, Embu research is covering six counties. Uh -huh. Meru, Dalakanidi, Embu, Kirinyaga, Nyeri, and Moranga. So this is one of our counties. We are coming up with technologies and we are. And that's why we are collaborating with the Kemadi University. So the soils, we are, we are already like now where we are, we have already taken the soil samples as a baseline. Then after we move on, we have taken some other uh, soil analysis to know now what is this crop requiring. When we started us. When we started, this was the, 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 um, the baseline. Mm -hmm. Now, after we did the analysis, we have found that mm -hmm. still this soil requires to be boosted in terms of soil fertility. Uh -huh. But now, we have done soil analysis for the Mount Kenya region, where we are mandate area. And we have found that our soils are declining in soil fertility. Mm -hmm. And we are really, really undervising. We have come up with a policy which is with the, going to the cabinet mm -hmm. for to, to advise the government on how we can be able to address 
issues of soil fertility in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, should farmers uh, really be worried? Uh, but they are saying that they are still advising on how best uh, to sort of improve the fertility of the soil in this particular region. All this, remember, is in a bid to ensure that farmers and actually the society embraces uh, the use of chia products. We have seen Dedan Kimathi University today saying that they will be giving two acres of seedling or two kgs of seedlings to farmers from across Nyeri County to just uh, sort of introduce this uh, crop to them and we also want to see uh, at the end of the day whether it will be embraced and what benefits it will be having to the people. We shall attend the workshop to get to hear what uh, the speakers will be saying about this particular product. This is what we have for you from this uh, side of the mountain today. Back to you. Thank you, Ibrahim Karanja, for that report. Now, Mutahi Kagwe is the fourth.